who refuses to bend their knee to God on Judgment Day will have their knees broken. Because every knee will bow. Every tongue confess. Today is the day, and each day hereafter, that we get to choose how to honor God. Joyfully, with great expectation and hope, or forcibly, resisting Him every step of the way by not embracing His commands and His teaching as He has given them to us in His Word. Today is Sanctity of Life Sunday. We celebrate it because all life has value, and all life has the potential and will honor God, the potential to honor Him joyfully and willingly. Today is Sanctity of Life Sunday. because it commemorates the 35th anniversary of the Supreme Court decision in the case of Roe vs. Wade. The babies who were killed and are killed during abortions have souls from the moment they are conceived. They have their own unique genetic code from that very moment. It's not the mother's code, it's not the father's code, it is their own unique genetic code. By the time most women know they're pregnant, for sure, their baby's hearts have already been beating. And that heart will beat for the next 50, 70, or 90 years if it's allowed to do so. These children are individuals who have the chance to honor God. God loves them, and they deserve the chance to get to know God here on earth. They deserve the chance to make decisions for themselves, to honor God with their lives willingly. It's our job as Christians to prayerfully work for these silent children. It is our job as Christians to prayerfully teach these children who God is. It is our job to prayerfully help them understand who Jesus is and what he expects from us, just as we promised to do for Lauren Maggie during today's baptism. So that one day, these unborn children might grow in grace and like Dorcas, live lives that so honor God that he wants to keep them around here for a while to teach and spread his love and truth. And then one day, when God decides the time is right, he will take them home to heaven to keep them close by his side for eternity. Some people say life is good, but life is much more than good. Life is holy, and life is eternal. And life honors God. One way or another, all life honors God. Let's protect the sanctity of all human life. Will you pray with me for this? Our Heavenly Father, for the nearly 50 million lives taken by the abortion factory in the United States, we mourn. For the children who will never have the chance to choose you on their own. We pray for your mercy and ask that you will welcome them into your eternal home in the name and forgiveness of Jesus Christ. For women and men dealing with the guilt of abortion, we ask that you embrace them and help them to receive your forgiveness. You promise that no sin is too great to be forgiven, and this includes abortion. Help those who are in the depths of despair, to see your light and your hope and your love and forgiveness. To any woman today wrestling with the unfortunate decision our laws force them to make regarding the destiny of their unborn babies, to women deciding whether to let their child live or to end their life with an abortion, we pray that you will reach out to them with your grace, love, and courage Give them the strength they need to choose life for their children. Provide them with the material goods, the funds, and whatever else they need to allow their children to live. For women who have courageously chosen life in the face of great opposition, ridicule, and difficulty, we praise your name and ask that you especially bless them today. For the men who are fathering children, we ask that you will challenge them to take responsibility for their actions, that you will give them the love and commitment they need to raise their children in a stable home. And for every child, both young and old, here and elsewhere, 
We ask that you will teach us to live our lives honoring you in all that we do and say. We pray this all in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, who makes our lives holy. <coughs> Amen. I invite you now to stand and sing our closing hymn, Stand Up for Jesus. And if there is anybody who needs to counsel with me, who is, who is um, suffering um, from grief or guilt, or who is make, trying to make a decision about abortion or anything along those lines, please don't hesitate to call me. My door is open. Um, call me. We'll set up a time we'll get together. Anybody needs to call me. I'm here. Let's <coughs> 